Hey everyone, welcome to our review, and here's my review for the new movie Zootopia. Yes, the new anime Disney movie Zootopia. This movie is directed by Byron Howard and Rich Moore, the guys who gave us movies like Bolt and Wreck It Ralph. And this movie stars a huge cast. This movie stars Kristen Bell, Jennifer Goodman, Jason Bateman, Idris Elba, Octavia Spencer, Alan Tudyk, Bonnie Hunt, and J.K. Simmons. And the story of this movie is this world, this movie's world, is all filled with talking animals. So yeah, let's just start off with the elephant in the room. <laughs> Didn't mean to spoil a joke, but still. Yeah, this movie is about a talking bunny played by Jennifer Goodman, and basically she lives in this country town and stuff, and her dream is to move to the city of Zootopia and become a police officer. And basically nobody believes in her, they all think she's a bunny, she shouldn't, she just should be a farmer or something, but she proves herself that she's an action-packed, determined, smart, smart, and pretty badass rabbit, so, she, so yeah, when she grows up and goes to the police academy, she moves to Zootopia and joins the police force of Zootopia, and, and basically none of the police officers treat her right, because she's just a little bunny, and these are all big, huge, monstrous animals, and they're awesome and badass, and she's just a tiny bunny, and they don't think she could do the job properly. So they put her on parking duty, and basically she runs into the second lead character played by Jason Bateman, who's a fox slash a crook, and he's probably my favorite character in this entire movie, but but yeah, that's beside the point, because the movie plot thickens, because uh, something something is happening in the city. All these animals are going missing, and when they're finding these animals, they're going crazy for some reason. I won't spoil why, I won't spoil what happens, but yeah, basically, so yeah, basically they put the lead bunny and her fox and her new fox friend on the case to find out what is happening and what's going on in this town and if they can end up saving the day and all that kind of shit. And this movie, when I saw from the trailers, this movie looked really awesome. As you saw in my top 10 most anticipated movies of the year, this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year because it looked awesome. I love Disney movies and stuff and I knew the directors of this movie did Wreck-It Ralph and Bolt and I love both Wreck-It Ralph and Bolt. I think they did Tangled as well. I love those movies so I thought I'd love this movie. And honestly, I loved this movie. This movie, Zootopia, was so freaking good. Just so good. I like this movie just as much as I like the movie Bolt. Yeah, it's not quite there with Wreck-It Ralph, but it's right there with Bolt. This movie is fantastic. I'm going to start off with the problems first because the positives are a lot. There's a lot of things I loved about this movie. There's only two very minor things I had a problem with this movie, and they're very minor. One of them is this movie is this movie is riddled with cliches. Like the main character is a very cliched character, you know. She, she's a strong, independent bunny, and no one believes in her, and she's out to show people what she's made of and stuff. A very cliche character. And also in the movie, also in this movie, there's some very cliched moments. I won't spoil it, but there's a few moments that are very cliched. Yeah, so that was one minor issue. And another minor issue I had is there's a kind of a twist at the end of this movie, and it's a very obvious twist. It's really freaking obvious. I still like the twist, but it was very obvious. So yeah, those were my two minor nitpicks. And honestly, they didn't ruin the movie for me, because honestly, I fucking loved this movie. Let's talk about the positives, because there's so many. The voice acting in this movie, everyone does a bang-up job. Jennifer Goodwin was great as the lead bunny. Um, okay, I called her a cliché character, but I still really liked her. She was such a very likable character. I was rooting for her. I was rooting for this bunny to kick some fucking ass. And Jason Bateman was probably my favorite character in this movie. I loved him as this fox who, like, rips people off and stuff. He's, like, he's almost like Mark Wahlberg from The Italian Job, which is awesome and stuff. And I loved Idris Elba as the police captain. He was freaking awesome. And a great voice actress. Alan Tudyk in this movie. I won't spoil who he is in this movie. It's so funny. It's a great Disney Easter egg. There's a lot of great Disney Easter eggs in this movie. And they're friggin' solid and they're hilarious. There's a lot of good jokes in this movie. If you're expecting a laugh out loud comedy, you, you might be disappointed because this movie isn't a straight up comedy. It's more of like an action adventure. Kind of like Wreck It Ralph. Like, I wasn't going into Wreck It Ralph expecting it to be a comedy. There's funny scenes in Wreck It Ralph, but that's not what makes Wreck It Ralph awesome. The creativity, the great action, the great characters, that's what make Wreck It Ralph so awesome. And that's what makes Zootopia so awesome. It's not because it's funny, there is some really funny jokes in this movie, but that's not what makes it so good. These characters are awesome. I love these characters. They're such likable and colorful characters, and they're all so likable. Even the bad guys, the villains in this movie, they're very, very likable. And this movie has a great message. I won't spoil the message, but it has a very good message. Great for all your kids to see. Like, it, the kids will love this movie. Kids will go gaga over this movie. It's so good. This movie is great. And the animation looks very good. It's great CG animation. It's very well done. 
does not look fake. It doesn't. It doesn't look clunky or ugly or anything. It looks top freaking notch. The worlds look amazing. There's this is here with the lead bunny is on the train. She's going through all these cities and stuff. It's just breathtaking animation. Just breathtaking. It's phenomenally well done. So good. And again, I loved everything about this movie. It was very well paced. It was very action packed and stuff. And it's a cop movie. You don't see a lot of Disney movies. I don't think you see like any Disney movies that are straight up cop movies. This felt like a cop movie. It was awesome. It's a cop movie with a bunny and a fox as the lead characters. It's so freaking hilarious and awesome. And I love cop movies. And this movie felt like a real cop movie. It was pretty awesome. A lot of fun. This movie is so much fun and the action is so good and so fast paced. You are entertained from start to finish. There is not a single scene you will be bored of. It's so good. Like I said, the kids will go gaga over this and you adults will love it too. It's so good. I can tell this is going to be a Disney classic. Is it, is it the best Disney movie out there? Fuck no, but it's still so good and I really highly recommend this movie. I I could go in more depths about the movie, but but then I'd have to spoil it, and I don't want to do that. So take your kids, go see it. Adults will love it, kids will love it, everyone's gonna love it. Zootopia is awesome, and it's so much fun. So yeah, scale one to ten, I'll give the movie Zootopia at eight point nine out of ten. So yeah, I can't quite get it to the nine, but it's solid, it's so good. I can't wait to see it again. It's so good. So yeah, that was my review of the movie Zootopia. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, what is your favorite B. Ryan Howard and Rich Moore movie? Either one of them. What is your favorite movie that these two guys have directed? Mine's Rocket it Ralph. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.